Hi hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Naninga. Thank you so much for joining me again on another video. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing great so far with your life and everything you're doing. <sighs> that Jumia haul and guess why I'm smiling so much? It's because it's currently the Jumia Black Friday. This is not a sponsored video. So everything that you're going to hear from me is actually some everything that I purchased with my own money. And not only that, it is also um, everything that I desired and I got. Yes. So uh, basically, as I was saying, this hair, Akimi, I usually have a problem with hair falling into my face. I really hate it. But uh, basically what I'm saying is that Jumia is currently having the, its Black Friday sale. Although I have to be pretty, pretty much honest with you guys, I don't know when this video will go up because as I always say, I always schedule my videos. So I don't know whether the sale will still be going on or whether the prices will have changed because I noticed that during the Black Friday sales, the prices always change. They always fluctuate. So you have to be sharp. You have to be fast. Yeah. So yes, let's just get into this Jumia haul because uh, as I said, I always... Did I mention that? I don't think I mentioned it, but these are actually beauty products because this is a beauty channel and we love beauty and fashion and makeup and jewelry and wigs and everything in that category, yeah? But I hope you guys are doing great. So let's just get into this video and I think I'm just going to bobby pin this hair back because I cannot continue flipping hair like a person who has long hair when I've never had long hair. to start with the Dallas product beauty product but it's still a beauty product because it helps us look beautiful yes it's the Nivea I am in love with Nivea cleansers to be honest the only Nivea cleanser that I've never really fallen in love with is the three in one but all the others I'm very much okay with them and this is the Nivea face wash yes in the ocean algae combination skin and I think I'll just insert the price right here of how much it's supposed to be and how much I got it at. But I remember it was a steal, uh, although not as steal as the other products. Like the other products were really, really a steal. So this is just a face wash. Unfortunately, it has beads. It's not unfortunately. Some people do like beads, but I'm not a fan of beads. But I think that these ones are not very big beads. They're just one one, you know. So I hope that it will be good on my skin and that it will be well. I mentioned that it was for combination skin. Yes, it's for combination skin. I have oily skin, not even combination, but I think it will work well because most of the their cleansers just work. Next thing that I actually got is mascara. And I know you guys always see me with false lashes, but I always do my lower lid with the uh, mascara. And even when I'm not going somewhere, I'm not a fan of false lashes when I'm going somewhere, like maybe to church or to an event. I don't wear false lashes, so I just do mascara. And I have been using this mascara, which I also got on Jumia for the longest time. Now, it looks rugged because uh, the last time they got, uh, I got this mascara, they had silotaped it all over. So it looked really rugged. And when it peeled, it kind of peeled with the, everything. And I tried scrubbing it off and so many things. But this was the total temptation. It's so unfortunate that it was no longer in the market. So I picked this one, which I think you saw. From Kitambo, I used to just use this one. This was uh, like one of the first Maybelline mascaras that I ever got. But I decided to go back to it because it had been marked down. As I said, it is the Black Friday Jumia sale. So it had been marked down drastically. That's why I actually got it. And because this one was almost over and it's really rugged, honestly. Uh, so I always do my lower lashes with mascara. So... This is the Colossal Maybelline Colossal Mascara. It usually retails for roughly 1,000 or 900 shillings. It fluctuates right there. But I got it for actually 500. Was it 500? I'm not sure. But I think I'll put it here for the price that I got it for. But it was like half price, literally. And I remember it was so good. It was so, so good. I stayed with it until the bottle dried, until I brushed my gray hairs with it. Yes, it was that. So the next... I swear this hair is going to make me rip it off. <laughs> Let me just tie a knot because seriously. Oh, there's a bobby pin right here. I don't know why the bobby pin is. Oh dear.
let's just hope that if you so the next thing that I actually mm-hmm. got, it's not only Maybelline, the Maybelline store that has a seal on Jumia, even Revlon. I got this from the Revlon store and it's the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix Highlighting Stick and it's the one I've used here. I'm currently breaking out with that because of some products that I use and I think I did a video all about that. So just ignore the wrap wrap scheme. But this is the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix Highlighting Stick. And it's a highlighter so i normally just apply it basically before i even do the setting powder i just apply it yeah and blend it off so it's i have actually used it uh twice in two videos because i didn't have my my other i was using the maybelline um chrome master chrome highlighter and i didn't see it in their store nowadays i don't see it anymore i don't know what happened to it but i was using the master chrome highlighter and i did it broke yes it broke you know such things like highlighters rarely they you know they uh what is it called they end or they finish they are usually too much so it didn't end it broke as usual those kind of uh thing is like these thing is they normally always end up falling and breaking for some weird reason so it fell down and it broke and i had to discard of it and then i got this revlon insta fix photo ready highlighting stick in the shade gold light eclat door eclat door <coughs> okay i'm massacring that french i won't even bother it's gold light and this is how it looks inside it's just a stick so i don't think you can let me just swatch it for you guys i think if you apply it on top you still have to like blend it in with a something let me look for something and quickly blend it for you guys so that you can see but I think it's better if you just apply it before your foundation and your setting powder. Yeah, because you see, it's now hard to blend. No, but it's actually blended, yeah? It's a really nice highlight. I actually love it. So I don't have an issue with it. I'll just insert the price right there, yes. The next thing that I actually got is this Maybelline Colossal Kajal Extra Black Argan Oil. Now, I was doing a makeup tutorial with this. Uh, I think you guys are going to see that makeup tutorial for this makeup look, which is so cute. Ugh, I like it. Uh, and uh, this one ended, and I used to love it so much, and it was the Maybelline Hyper Precise All Day Liquid Eyeliner. So this is a liquid eyeliner, but this one, I got it, and it's not a liquid eyeliner. So I'm kind of disappointed, but it did manage to do this wing. So that is kind of okay this wing right here it's not as black as this one the hyper precise but it's good enough so it when you open it it's the kind that you just pull up sort of like a crayon i should say it has the consistency yeah, of a black crayon. friday sales most of the time the prices fluctuate they're not fixed so you can find that it's been marked down today and tomorrow it's not been marked down and something else has been marked down. Yeah, so that is how it works because the prices are not fixed at all. Like I can't tell you guys that you'll get it at the same price as I got, but I still believe that it will still be lower than on other days. Yeah, next is actually a foundation and I there are actually two foundations, but I'll talk about the first foundation first. I used to use the, uh, this one that I currently have used is actually a Clinique foundation in the shade pecan which is 120 and it looks like this this is the one that i've used to recreate this makeup look but i always just like having foundations especially when the price has been marked marked down that's when i buy foundations and this one that i got is actually from revlon and it's the revlon photo candid i think i used to do videos using this photo candid uh a while back like i think videos from last year if any of you has been following me or if you're new to this channel i used to use this revlon photo candid but i used to use it in another shade which was pecan and i decided to get the cappuccino which is 510 so the pecan one was number 520 and the cappuccino one this one is actually number 510 now it comes with a pump like that you just pump as you can see and i'm just going to swatch it here it's a neutral shade and i feel like it is wow it looks really light though but it's supposed to be a neutral shade uh compared to the pecan one that was sort of warm pecan was really warm that's why i decided to buy this cappuccino which i think is supposed to be a neutral shade and this uh anti-pollution foundation 
what I like about it is that it claims to filter blue light. And as you know, if you're filming and stuff like that, you really want to filter the blue light or editing. Yes, if you're editing videos, you really want to filter the blue light. So it's really good for that, especially if you normally edit with your makeup on, which I don't. I don't edit with my makeup on, but mm, why not? <laughs> Yeah, so the price was really affordable. I remember the first pecan that I got was about 1500 1500 Kenya shillings, which is roughly like $15. But this one was 499 which is like 500 So like 1000 had been slashed off. Why don't I get it too? And uh, I'm happy to say they're not expired. Yes. Okay, as I said, I got two foundations. And I have really been loving, I think I really love uh, the Revlon anti-candid pollution foundation and the clinic the clinic one this one they are so blendable especially this clinic one very very blendable like if you want a fast blending uh foundation that doesn't cake really fast but you know takes time to go down it doesn't even dry down to a matte finish by the way it leaves you with a dewy finish go for clinic like and I got this from the Linton's Beauty World. I used to say Linton's Pharmacy Kitambo because I'm old school like that. Because I moved out of Nairobi a long, long time ago. And I used to know there was Linton's Pharmacy. So, uh, Linton's Beauty World, yes. Linton's Beauty World, that is where I got this Clinique Even Better Foundation. And it was 1400 I remember this specific shade had not been marked down. It was about 3000 for a while. And then it was marked down to 1400 I know the other Clinique ones had already been marked down. Like for the longest time, they were 1400 But this specific shade, which is Spice, was always high priced. And I didn't understand why. So they just, it just says the manufacturing date is 12th of 2020. Expiry is 2023. So that's good. But it's in the shade Spice. This one that I'm using is Pecan. Yes. But I decided to experiment with other shades that maybe might be for my skin tone. Because I know that Spice, I checked on their website and I saw that Spice is actually like a neutral shade. While the Pecan is really warm, especially for Clinique. Their Pecan is really, really warm. Like it's red, guys. It's red. I know it doesn't come off as red because I've blended it with concealer and highlighter and other things. But it's sort of red. So I'm just going to search for you the old shade, which is Pecan. And this new shade, which is search the old shade first, which I'm using. And as I said, it was in a pecan, which is the shade 120, which is a really, really warm. When I say warm, I mean it's like orange. Okay, maybe my camera doesn't, it's not very, okay, but you can see very warm, very, very warm. Yeah, the camera might not be getting it so well, but it's a really, really warm. Even compared to my skin, you can see the color looks really orange undertoned. Yeah, so I'm going to try this spice and just put for you guys next. Spice is a neutral one. As you can see, spice is actually just blending into my skin. It's not even visible. So I'm actually neutral undertoned, yes, because this space is literally not even visible. Look at that. It's just gone. Like, this is my skin. This is the spice, this one. It's not even visible, but this one you can see, like, the warm one. So I'm very much neutral undertone. So I'm very excited. I actually got a pro tip, guys. When you're buying online, for example, from Jumia, and you're not aware of your shade, I highly suggest that you Google the, the company's website. For example, if it's Clinique, not on Jumia, just Google like the Clinique website, the international Clinique website. And they normally have quizzes that you can take to find your shade. Then after you've Googled and found your shade, now you can order. You're going to avoid losing a lot of money in the name of buying the wrong shade. So happy, so excited, and I love that formula. So as I said, it was marked down um, from the previous price, and that made I've me never notice. I always buy my makeup during Jumia sales, like all my beauty products. Very rarely do I buy like on the normal days, maybe when it's specifically over, but most of the time I just buy them during sales. And the main sale that I know is really a genuine sale is usually the Jumia Black Friday. Like that one I know like, prices go crazy i've ever bought a maybelline lipstick uh that 
visually retails for about 1200 Kenya shillings. I bought it for literally 250 Kenya shillings. And I, when I was buying it, I was even like, is it expired? But no, it was not. It wasn't even close to expiry. It was actually like very far from, it was just a normal lipstick. And I got it for 250 from the Jumia Black Friday. I think that was the last Black Friday sale or something of the you sort. You guys know that this channel is all about makeup tutorials. I couldn't have failed to pick up um, lipsticks. Yes. Me, I like saving money, guys. So <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. I only buy during the Jumia sales, like makeup. So people might think I have a lot of makeup. I have a lot of money. But actually, I don't have a lot of money. I just buy during the sales. And I specifically save up for those sales, if you don't know. So I got some Maybelline lipstick. And they are tiny. And I like that they are tiny because I always feel like having these really big bottles of lipstick or makeup. And as you can see, I've actually already opened them because I was so eager to like see them. But I haven't even swatched them. Did I swatch them? I think the day I got them, I swatched them and then just completely forgot about it. So um, these lipsticks, I prefer like small bottles like this one. The reason being is that I feel that lipsticks are, and basically makeup products are not things that you use so much to the point that you need to have a large amount. You know, like if you have a large amount of makeup, like most of the time it ends up expired or something of the sort. So I got this and there were only 300 Kenya shillings. Can you believe it? And I bought three shades. And I know people normally say things like, oh, you know, uh, these uh, colors are not flattering on black skin. No, you can always do this kind of crazy thing where you just apply like black, 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 and then just dot it in the center with that color. Actually, it works. So I saw a lot of uh, people complaining, not good for dark skin, blah, 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 blah. But me, I love those colors and I knew they'll be amazing. So when I saw that they were marked down to 300, I was like, I have to pick them up. So Chanel Liquid Matte, yes. The Maybelline Sensational Liquid Matte lipsticks and this one is the shade keep it mellow which is number five so it's keep it mellow and i'll just swatch them on my hands because i do not see as you can see it's such a lovely shade let me just dot this one here because it even matches this aesthetic oh as you can see they are super pigmented super super pigmented so if you don't want this color to look crazy if you have dark skin do this guys do this like do it with a brush then just pick the nearest brush this is not a uh, what is it called this is not a lip brush in any way or form one side is darker than the other but you get the point you get the point this is keep it mellow really beautiful i love it look at that color okay so this one is the sensational maybelline liquid matte in number seven as barely nude and i remember another pro tip make sure that in, in, before you buy anything online like i really want to stop and just blend this lipstick but it's fine uh before you buy anything online especially liquid shades, so make sure that you watch youtube tutorials where somebody is swatching uh the shades so that you don't get disappointed or something of the sort just expecting like the shade you have in your head you know so that is also another tip for online shopping and in case you guys are interested in tips for online shopping <laughs> i'm an expert <laughs> you can always write in the comment section below whether you want to uh have either product reviewed or you want to know tips on how you can shop online because a lot of people a lot of the negative re reviews you see on online sites is because people didn't actually know what they're buying yeah like you find somebody buys a lipstick not knowing the name of the sh just seeing the name of the shade on the site but not knowing what how it looks or the wrong foundation shade and then they trash the company no it's not the company's fault it's you who didn't do your research so make sure that you watch um youtube that's what exactly i did so i knew exactly what i was get getting so as you can see this is a very very nude shade materials or just watch any of them you'll see that i normally dab concealer right in the center of my lip like i'll apply the lip liner or the black liner and then i'll apply lipstick and then in the center right in the center i normally apply a concealer now i don't have to apply a concealer anymore i don't because i can just easily do this and 
I know I've not been using red for the longest time on this channel, but I did get a red lipstick because I wanted a matte red. The ones that I have are actually cream reds from the Maybelline um, range, which were beautiful, beautiful reds. Like I have the red for me and the ruby for me. But the one that is labeled as to the fullest. Yes, to life. So it looks like this. Let me apply it next to the keep it mellow so that you can see the difference. Ooh. Are you seeing that red? Guys, are you seeing the red? Hey, even these red beads over here do not match it. <laughs> it's so pretty. I love it. And I don't want to swatch it on top of this because it will just ruin uh, the color. Like you won't see the real color because there's a lot going on over here. So those are the three shades. This is the as barely nude. This is the keep it mellow. And this is as to the fullest. Yes. Not as to the fullest, to the fullest. And there were 300 bob. Maybelline lipsticks. 300 Kenya shillings. And in case you're a foreigner watching or a Nigerian, um, a Sudanese, who knows? Three dollars. Three good dollars. That I actually got is not a Maybelline lipstick, but I've been wanting to get it for the longest time. You guys know, I, I don't know whether you guys know, do I know whether you guys know? I don't know. But in case you've come across a green eyeliner that I normally use that goes on like butter. It was by this company. Although those liners were discontinued, I don't know why. I think mine is even expired. But because I loved it so much, I've always kept it. Never had an allergic reaction to it. So, but it was by this company and it's called Clean Color. Now that green liner was everything to me. Like, if you've seen uh, the strawberry makeup tutorial where I basically try and turn myself into a strawberry for some weird reason, uh, I was using that green liner. It was by that company, Clean Color. And I saw somebody, uh, one of the sellers on Jumia was stocking these Clean Color products. And I've always had thinking about buying them. And because it's Christmas time and I'm about to do some crazy, crazy, insane, beautifully beautiful Christmas looks that I'm about to blow on this YouTube. <laughs> yeah, so basically I'm about, I'm, I'm revamping this channel this Christmas because Christmas is my season. November is my season. My birthday is in November, fun fact. So uh, Christmas time, I saw this beautiful and I've already opened it. So you can see it came completely sealed. Even the Maybelline ones, they came completely sealed up to here so you don't have to worry. Uh, like they had a seal, like this plastic wrapping all the way to the top. So you don't have to worry that somebody has like used the lipstick, swatched the lipstick. No, 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 no. So I got this one and it was completely sealed. And it's the Clean Color Madly Matte Metallic Lip Gloss. This one is for Christmas, guys. Like I'm going to do some insane. Look at that color. It's so blended. You can even use it as foundation not don't try that but look at this color Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. and you guys are just seeing i'm swatching only once just once look at that eyeliner i normally use they were really good at making this teal color tempted to try it on my lips was it marked down i'm not sure because I, I think I've only wanted to buy it like once a long time ago and then I completely forgot about it. And then I wanted to restock on Christmas colors. Then I remembered that color looks because I've applied so many things on my lips. Yes, but guys, is there anything I've forgotten? So it comes in such packages. Yep. Papers. So that is it that I got on Jumia for beauty products. This Jumia Black friday yes sale i hope that it's still ongoing if it's not i'm sorry but i truly appreciate you for your time and also i hope you're going to have a wonderful day a wonderful evening a wonderful night a wonderful morning and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye bye bye